Although our flags share red, white, and blue, the history of France has been unique in comparison to our nation, and many others. France, like many other nations, was not always a republic, but originated as a section of the Carolinian Empire until in August 843 the Kingdom of France was formed. The Kingdom of France continued to thrive as a monarchy until a pivotal defining moment in France's history occurred, the French Revolution. While several historians have attributed various notions concerning the, what prompted this revolution, certain ones are generally accepted. With the economic benefits produced in the 18th century came rich commoners. These individuals being merchants, professionals, and manufacturers, all commonly known as the Burgosses. These individuals did not enjoy the idea that they could possess wealth, yet were not able to participate in the political affairs of the monarchy. Another factor that prompted the revolution was insubordinate peasants and their unwillingness to support the aristocracy with their service, especially the ongoing feudal system that they had been used to for hundreds of years. These peasants saw no change coming unless something radical took place. Yet another issue that contributed to the French Revolution was France's participation in the American Revolution. France had nearly depleted the monetary funds of its government, which placed the country in financial insecurity and created a strain upon the non-wealthy individuals within the country. Though several reasons might have prompted the revolution to occur, let us examine a few of the main events that took place during the French Revolution. One defining moment that took place during the French Revolution was the aristocratic revolt. In February 1787, an assembly of notables met to assess the financial situation of France. The outcome was the decision to raise taxes to rid the deficit in the nation's budget. However, the tax hikes were aimed at the wealthy individuals, who did not welcome the assembly's decision. Another defining moment that brought the French Revolution nearer to its pivotal point was the election of the Legislative Assembly in 1792. The newly elected assembly attempted to spread the revolutionary ideology it possessed by raging wars on nearby countries, whom they believed possessed counter-revolutionary beliefs. The Legislative Assembly did not last long, and was shortly replaced by the National Convention. Like the Legislative Assembly, the National Convention possessed its own ideologies. For one, it believed in the abolishment of the monarchy, and preached the establishment of the French Republic. One defining difference between the Legislative Assembly and the National Convention was that the latter was successful in its pursuits. January 21st, 1793 marked the peak of the revolution when King Louis VI was charged with crimes against the state and treason. The National Convention, which was also the prosecutor, sentenced King Louis XVI to death by the guillotine. Near the end of the revolution, violence increased, ushered in primarily by the National Convention, which contained new leaders. Thousands were guillotined in a period known as the Reign of Terror, until a revolt against the revolt subdued the seemingly senseless excessive killing. Altogether, the history of France has included events that mark some of the main ideas of history books all throughout academia, and the French Revolution is by no means one of the least of these events. Though historians debate concerning the primary cause of the revolution, it is generally accepted that the combination of the factors previously mentioned and others not listed all contributed to the occurrence of the revolution. While some may argue that the revolution was beneficial to the nation or not, it is no doubt that the French Revolution laid the groundwork for the glorious nation that we know today as France.